In Denver's Central Park neighborhood, very few relics of the old airport remain. Repurposed as a brew pub, the old control tower still stands, and so too does the long weather record that began at Stapleton Airport back in 1948. That weather record has been maintained in Central Park even after the airport was torn down. But the measurements are not available in real time. It can even take more than 24 hours to know what the high temperature was the day before. Now the National Weather Service is installing this new station that'll send out weather measurements from Central Park at least every 10 minutes. The new station could be up and running by the end of October. The only other place to get weather data like that in Denver is DIA, which is quite a ways from the bulk of the population. The new station will more accurately portray the day-to-day -day weather for most Denverites, but DIA will remain as the official climate record. Comparing the data from the two Denver weather stations over the past 26 years, which is as long as DIA has been measuring the weather, shows that climate-wise the two stations are very similar. In fact, the average temperature is exactly the same at both locations. Central Park averaged slightly more precipitation, a little more than an inch, and the difference in snow over that span was only two-tenths of an inch. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. And speaking of snow, that is the one weather parameter the new Central Park Weather Station will not be able to measure. The National Weather Service says they're trying to find someone in that area willing to measure snowfall twice a day. If not, that long snow record will soon come to an end.